Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Crystal and I am ready to tell you a story today. I've been missing all of you and I hope you all are well and safe. But first, before we read a story, why don't we do our favorite finger play? All right, get ready, get settled up, here you go. Everybody take a seat, take a seat, take a seat. Everybody take a seat on the floor. Everybody take a seat, everybody take a seat, everybody take a seat on the floor. Not on the ceiling, not on the door. Everybody take a seat on the floor. Let's do that one more time with all of you together. Here we go. Everybody take a seat, everybody take a seat, everybody take a seat on the floor. Everybody take a seat. Everybody take a seat. Everybody take a seat on the floor. Not on the ceiling. Not on the door. Everybody take a seat on the floor. Yay! That was very good. Well, today I have a special story for you today called Frankie the Frog. Frankie the Frog. The authors are Nick Dinchfield and Aunt Parker. Here we go. Frankie Frog is always hungry. He looks around with his big bulgy eyes. <laughs> Frankie Frog's favorite snack is Lies! And he hops after them on his long, skinny legs. Legs are long and skinny. Yes, they are. Frankie Frog is greedy, too. He loves to catch flies with his stretchy, sticky tongue. Look at how long his tongue is. <laughs> but if you think Frankie Frog is greedy, you should see his dad. <laughs> the big dad, right? Yes. And that's his pop-up story called Frankie the Frog. We have another frog story for you today. It's called Frog on a Log. Frog on a Log. This story is so funny. It's by Kes Gray and Jim Field. Frog on a Log? Hey, frog! Sit on a log, said the cat. But I don't want to sit on a log, said the frog. Logs are all hard and uncomfortable, and they, oh, they can give you splinters. Ouch. I don't care, said the cat. You're a frog, so you should sit on a log. Well, can I sit on a mat, said the frog. Only cats sit on mats, said the, said the cat. What about a chair, said the frog. I wouldn't mind sitting on a chair. Hares sit on chairs, said the cat. Hmm. Well... Perhaps I could sit on a stool, said the frog. Mules sit on stools, said the cat. What about a sofa, said the frog. I could stretch right out on a sofa. Gophers sit on sofas, said the cat. 
It's very simple, really. Let me explain. Cats sit on mats, hares sit on chairs, mules sit on stools, gophers sit on sofas, and frogs, frogs sit on logs. What do lions sit on? asked the frog. Lions sit on irons, said the cat. Ouch, said the frog. What do parrots sit on? Parrots sit on carrots, said the cat. Lions sit on irons. And parrots, parrots sit on carrots. That doesn't sound very comfortable, said the frog. <sighs> it's not about being comfortable, said the cat. It's about doing the right thing. Okay, well, what do foxes sit on, said the frog. Foxes sit on boxes, said the cat. Foxes sit on boxes and fleas on trees. Actually, the fleas sit on peas. They're really right down here at the bottom. You probably can't see them. They're little tiny fleas sitting on little green peas. Hmm, well, what do goats sit on? asked the frog. Goats sit on coats, said the cat. Goats sit on coats. Cows sit on plows and storks, they sit on forts. Ooh. What do gorillas sit on? asked the frog. Gorillas sit on pillars. Gorillas sit on pillars. Rats sit on hats. Weasels sit on easels. And moles, well, they sit on poles. What do seals sit on, asked the frog. Don't you know anything, said the cat. <sighs> seals sit on wheels. Doves sit on gloves. Newts sit on flutes. Lizards sit on wizards. And apes, well, apes sit on grapes, of course. Well, what about... Puffins, asked the frog. Puffins sit on muffins, said the cat. Puffins sit on muffins. Snakes sit on cakes. Owls sit on towels. Gibbons sit on ribbons. Lambs sit on jams. And bees sit on keys. <laughs> Well, I never, I never knew that, said the frog. Well, you do now, said the cat. What do dogs sit on, asked the frog. I was hoping you wouldn't ask that question, said the cat, because... Dogs sit on frogs. Help! And that's the story of Frog on a Log, Frog on a Log. Thank you all. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.